Hello, I'm Lee from moneyisinthelist.com and today I'm going to be talking to you about creating a fresh installation of WordPress on your website. Now if you have any questions on this, please feel free to drop me a line on the YouTube comments section below. Likewise, if you have a suggestion um, for a video that you'd like me to create on anything to do with marketing, money, or entrepreneurship, please jump across to moneyisinthelist.com and hit me up in the suggestion box. So let's move forward with the tutorial for WordPress. And it's very, very simple now to create Word, a WordPress site. I remember uh, quite some time ago, about 13, 14, maybe 15 years ago, uh, when I created my very first website, which was a sports blog, um, talking about a, a sports blog game, actually, a game that was uh, uh, on the sport, sports genre. Um, and I had to download all these files, configure them, upload them to my web server, and I spent days and weeks setting it all up, um, designing certain parts and getting it all running, and it took me about a week to get going. Now, this video is the first in a set of three where I'm gonna show you how to set up WordPress, um, how, to, how to install it, then how to actually set it up, and then lastly, how to install a number of my favorite plugins that turbocharge um, your website. And as I say, this sort of thing took me weeks to set up, and by watching these three videos, you're gonna be able to do it in about 10 minutes, which is absolutely amazing, and this is very, very newbie friendly. Now, the first thing that you need to do is you need to go to your hosting, and you need to get, get inside the control panel. So obviously all great hosting packages will come with the C panel, okay? And it's gonna look something like what I've got on screen. And the control panel is brilliant because it does so much for us and it's all pretty much uh, self-explanatory, okay? So we have all the different sections within the control panel, but we need to go down to the bottom where we have here we go, this apps installer section. And there's a lot of apps that we can install onto our website. Now the main one is gonna be WordPress, okay? So all we want to do is we just want to click on it. Simple as that. This will load up the, the WordPress installation page. And there we have it, okay? So th this is the, uh, the, the installation section, we've chosen WordPress, um, and all we need to do now is we need to click install now. Now this comes up with the setup, um, and again, pretty simple, pretty, pretty simple. Choose protocol, leave that as it is uh, for the website, for, for most websites it's gonna be um, the, the standard protocol. You have a number of sections here, we just leave it as it is. The next is to choose your domain. You want to choose the domain that you want to install it on. If you've only got one domain, that's going to be the one you want to install it. If you've got multiple, you need to select the domain that you want to install it upon. So let's just choose one. Right, so I've got a demo site here. This is the directory. So if you want the WordPress to be actually on this website, so this is this website I've got here, demo.moneyisinthelist.com. If I want WordPress to be there, I need to delete the directory. So leave this blank, okay? If I want it to be demo.moneyisinthelist.com forward slash blog, for example, then in here, I need to type in blog, okay? So it's as simple as that. So we'll just leave it blank because I want it to go on the actual domain. So the next section is site settings. So here you've got a site name and a description um, which will be on the website, okay? So when the actual WordPress loads up, there will be a, uh, a title and there will be a subtitle, okay? So it's, 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 it's pretty simple. Um, now you can change that, but you can change that in the settings at a later date. So it's not set in stone. 
So for me, I'm just going to leave it exactly how it is. Now, here we go with the, um, the admin account. This is how you're going to log in to the admin section of your WordPress site. So this is very important because you don't want to lose this because otherwise you're not going to be able to log in and make any changes to the site. Now, what you want to remember is do not, when you, you, when you choose your admin username, you don't want to choose admin choose something else, um, mainly because people try to hack into WordPress websites, okay? Why they do it, we don't know, but they try to do it, and the easiest way to hack into a WordPress site is to guess the username and password correctly. Seems um, basic and simple, but that's what they do. I know I've created websites in the past and not done anything on them. And then when I've checked the uh, the stats to see whether there's been any security breaches, um, the website has been, there's been attempts to hack into the website hundreds of times and I haven't even done anything to the website, a clean website. So these kind of bots and things are all around the internet. They're trying to hack different websites, trying to take advantage of things. So you wanna make sure that you come up with a username, um, that is, uh, the people won't guess that you're going to remember, and then obviously you need to have a password. Now the uh, the WordPress uh, setup will not let you put in a basic password anyway. So just say I was just to type password, for example, it comes up here, and um, you've got 37 out of 100. I'm not sure. You need to get over 40, I think, or 50. So you need to come up with a username and password, and then you need to uh, put in an email address, and this will send some updates if people try to hack example and things like that. And other plugins that you uh, install onto the website will default to be sent to this email address. Okay, so you might want to put in uh, your main email address, for example, to to keep on top of that. The next section is language. Now, I'm going to choose English, but you may want to choose something else. Um, here you've got the limit login attempts. You can select that. Again, that's to do with security. If so, if someone tries to log in um, three times incorrectly, it will block the site, okay? And you'll have to come back to the setup to, uh, to, to do anything with it. The next thing is we've got some advanced options that you may or may not want to, to get involved with um, at this present moment. But the first things, uh, database name, table re uh, prefix, ignore that, ignore that for now. Um, you've got disable uh, update notification emails uh, because you will get emails from uh, time to time. You can, can completely disable that from the off if you want. You also got three options here, auto upgrade, auto upgrade WordPress plugins, and auto upgrade WordPress themes. So as you move forward with your website, you're gonna be you're installing themes and plugins. And also, uh, sporadically, WordPress will update the actual software, okay? And you have the opportunity to update. Now here, you can tick these boxes, and in the background, as soon as it happens, as soon as, updates for these things are live, your website will be uh, communicated with those uh, plugins, themes, and, and, and with WordPress, and it will automatically make the updates for you. So if you're not gonna be logging in uh, to the site very often, you probably want to uh, tick them on just to make sure it ticks along, and because you know you always want the latest uh, versions of anything because, um, security and bugs have been ironed out okay and here you've got some some updates um, and we can just leave that exactly how it is here you're going to have some themes um, you can leave that for now um, because it's not that important and then here is when we put in an email address um, for some information to confirm that it was installed Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to put in some details now to create this with my own email and password, and then I'll be back with you in a few moments when I click the uh, the send button.
Right, so I've inputted the, the details that I want and now I'm gonna click install and it will go through the, the processes and we can see exactly what happens. So you can see it's checking the submitted data, it's moving through and it should just take a, a matter of uh, a minute or so. Right, okay, so that took about 60 seconds. I sped it up for you. And what we've got now is we've got some information here where we've got the link. So this is the actual link of the website and this is how we can log in. So let's quickly just check them out. So the first one, we'll just click on that in a new tab at the top here. And as you can see, that's created the basic page and as we spoke about before, the title, the, uh, the subheading, and it's just created the basic site for us, which we can work on in the next videos. Now we can go back here and we've got the, the admin URL. We'll do the same, we'll open that up in another window and that should log us in. And here we go, and this is the, the inside of the WordPress page. And we're gonna be going through this in my next video about setting up your WordPress website. So I hope the video has been helpful. I hope that you've uh, it was straightforward. Um, and, and as I say, if you've got any comments, hit me up in the comment section below. And also, if you've got any suggestions on a video you would like me to cover, go across to moneyisinthelist.com and type into the suggestion box. I've been Lee, have a great day.